Hello again. Welcome to another great day of Who is My Neighbor? Asian Bible School. The past couple of days, Sage has been telling us about what happened to a man who got beaten up by robbers. Two days ago, we heard how a priest passed him by. And then yesterday, Sage told us about the priest helper who also passed by. I wonder what will happen next in the story. Hey, there's Sage now. How are you today? I'm okay. I'm a little nervous. Nervous? About what? I passed a Samaritan on my way here. Samaritan? What's wrong with that? Well, you know about Samaritans, how they are. No, I don't know what you mean. You know how they play cats? Like cats? And I take it you're a dog person? Of course. Dogs are great. Loyal and trustworthy. You know where you stand with the dogs and cat people? Aloof and sneaky? Cat people can't be trusted. Don't you think you're overreacting just a bit? No. Are you sure? Don't you remember what happened next to the story you were telling us? I have it here. It's written down for me. It says, But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near the injured man. And when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. A Samaritan did all that? You tell me. You're the one who Jesus told the story to. That's what Jesus said. But I thought it was a figure of speech. You know, like when you say it's raining cats and dogs, it's not really raining pets. It's just raining hard. I figured he meant something like that. I don't think so. I think Jesus really meant it was a Samaritan who stopped and helped the injured man. What do you think about that? But they're so different from us. We don't like the same food, or listen to the same music, or speak the same language. And come on now, they like cats. Just because someone is different from us doesn't mean they cannot be our neighbor. Remember what we talked about the first day, how God is love, and we love the God because God loves us. And love is what the Samaritan showed that man. Let me read the rest of the story. The next day, the Samaritan took out two denarii, that's like $200, gave the money to the innkeeper and said, take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. And then, what question did Jesus ask you? He asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? And he said, The one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to you, Go and do likewise. Oh, that's what our theme verse for today means. What does it mean? I truly understand that God shows no partiality. When I first heard it, I thought, what does partiality mean? But when we say that God shows no partiality, it means God doesn't play favorites. God loves everyone the same, cat people and dog people. When the Samaritan helped the man in need, he was living out God's love for everyone. God loves you whether you're a cat person or a dog person, no matter what language you speak or what kind of food you like. All of us are created and loved by God, so all of us are neighbors in God to each other. Yeah, I think you've got it. We're all neighbors because we all live in God's neighborhood, the neighborhood of the people of God. Thanks for the talk today. You've given me a lot to think about. I can't wait to go out and meet all my new neighbors. You're welcome. Have fun. See you tomorrow. Bye.